Hey, it's Harry here. Let's take a look at how the features on the Evo 4 audio interface can help make recording easier for you. Evo 4 is a two-in, two-out audio interface made for the smart creative. It's been designed to record high quality audio from sources like microphones and instruments, take it into your computer, and then also take audio out of your computer and to some speakers or headphones. It's actually powered by your computer, which makes it super portable if you're using a laptop and want to get creative on the go. We made Evo 4 not only quick and easy to use, but it also offers leading tech specs, incredible performance and professional sound quality, all with one thing in mind, to make recording easier. In terms of getting audio in and out, there are two inputs which let you connect microphones using XLR cables or line level equipment using quarter inch jack connectors. This could be something like a keyboard or a drum machine, for example. If you're using a condenser microphone, then you'll need to use phantom power. And to activate this, you just press the channel you want to activate and then press the 48 volt button. It's really that easy. Sticking with the inputs, there is also an instrument input, often called a DI, on the front of the unit. This is great for plugging in guitars and basses, and it comes in on channel one. The great thing is you could have a guitar plugged into the instrument input and a mic plugged into channel two and record them simultaneously as a great little singer-songwriter kind of setup. To listen back to what you're doing, you're going to need outputs. So we've added two quarter inch jack connectors on the rear for plugging in your powered speakers. And there's a quarter inch connector on the front for your headphones. You can easily adjust the volume of these by pressing the level button and then adjusting the main knob. And the LED ring around the outside will show you how loud you are. Plugging in your headphones will automatically mute the speakers, which makes switching between the two of them completely seamless. One of the things that separates Evo 4 from other interfaces is the smart features we've added, which have been designed to make your life easier and also let you focus on being creative. For those who are new to audio, it's really important to set your input levels correctly, and this is sometimes referred to as input gain. Evo 4's smart gain will automatically set the ideal input levels for whatever you're recording. So just press the smart gain button and then the channels that you want to set the gain for. And this could be either one or both of them at the same time. Then you just press the smart gain button again and the light will start flashing red. This means it's listening to whatever you're gonna be playing and you should basically play the loudest section that you're going to play during your recording session. Once it's analyzed what you've played, it will set the gain and it will flash green showing that you're ready to record. And it's really that easy. Of course, you can still manually set the input levels if you'd like. You just press the channel number and then adjust the volume knob to set the gain as you wish. If you're using a stereo source, such as recording an instrument in stereo, or maybe you have a stereo synth, you can actually join the channels together so that you can adjust the gain in one go. To do this, you just hold down one of the channels and then press the second one, and now they're linked, and you only have to set the gain once, and both channels will move at the same time. To ensure using Evo 4 is as simple and intuitive as possible, we developed smart touch points. All of Evo 4's inputs and outputs can be controlled using the main volume knob. This means you simply need to select the smart touch point of the feature you want to use, and then the main volume knob will now be controlling that feature. Some of the smart touch points have dual functionalities. For example, inputs one and two and the outputs can be quickly muted by holding down each of the buttons. This is really useful if you're doing a podcast or you're in the middle of a live stream, for example, and you just need to very quickly mute your microphone. The final control is the direct monitoring button, which we call monitor mix. This lets you blend between whatever's happening on your inputs and whatever's coming back from your computer so that you can create the perfect headphone mix while you're recording. The great thing about this is it means you can hear a delay or latency free version of whatever you're recording with any pre-recorded material which is coming back from your computer. Just press the button and rotate to the left to hear your inputs and to the right to hear your computer and just find a balance that works for you and start recording. You can customize what you hear in your headphones even further by holding down the monitor mix touch point. This will activate monitor pan. So now rotating the main volume knob will pan your inputs left and right, allowing you to get some separation between each of your ears. That's it in terms of features on the interface itself, but there are a few extra features that are really useful. For those who want to capture their computer audio as well as a microphone, such as gamers, streamers, or podcasters, we've added a loopback feature. So maybe you're doing some game commentary to upload to YouTube and you want to record your game audio as well as your microphone. Or you might be a podcaster who is inviting guests on via Skype conversations and you can record the output of Skype as well as your microphone. This is all possible on Evo 4. Depending on the audio software you're using, you can actually control Evo 4's input gains from the software itself. 
and it will also save the settings to your session. This is useful if you're wanting to set up a template and you're gonna record using the same input level every single time, or if you want to just make sure that you can go back and re-record things at a later date. You're also able to control the level of the outputs from the computer in the same way that you would if you were controlling the volume of your built-in speakers. Evo 4 is packed full of really useful features which will enable you to get professional sounding recordings effortlessly. If you're interested in any of the finer detailed audio specifications, there is a full breakdown available on our website. If you want to know more about Evo 4 in general, then please check out our other videos or head to our website at evo.audio.